Hey folks, exciting stuff. I finally got the affidavit process completed for the Trader Joe's stuff. Let me show you some of what's going on here. So I've got all the original material here, okay? And they all get a copy. And as you can see, we've got the California Attorney General, U.S. Attorney General, Paracorp, which is Trader Joe's registered agent, and then I'm going to CC all the people at Trader Joe's. So um, every company has a registered agent with, you can find it on the Security of S Secretary of State website. So if you're serving a corporation, you get their registered agent and you send all the stuff there. Now, the other thing I want you to notice is all the certified mail stickers here, right? So everybody gets a certified mail. And why do we send it certified mail? So that they can't say, oh, I never got it. <laughs> so what you do is you put the certified mail number on the actual letter you write to them so that then they know, oh, they're on to us. Okay, great. So here's the things I included in my affidavit for Trader Joe's to let them know that they're breaking the law by illegally force masking and vaccinating their employees, which by the way, all the stuff you're reading in the news saying that Disney is now mandating the vaccine for all their employees, it, it's just illegal. And all you have to do is push back and they can't defend themselves. So let's go to what we've got here. Let's look at um, the California Attorney General. All right, so we've got the certified mail. The number matches the number on the letter. Basically a letter telling him, hey, here's what we're doing. Here's my affidavit saying I'm, you know, Jeffrey Allen of the House of Weitzman, because I'm functioning as a non-citizen national here to give myself a little protection. But this is my affidavit saying everything's true. Got it notarized. All right, and we've got a certificate of service. Now, a certificate of service is you're just putting in the documentation, hey, here's all the stuff I mailed to these various people. In my case, I mailed it to the Attorney General of California, Attorney General of the United States, and then Trader Joe's. So they get a certificate of service. And then here's the, the meat of everything. It's this demand for correction. So what I'm saying is, hey, I'm demanding that you investigate Trader Joe's because they're breaking 15 laws. And on this demand, which is basically giving them notice, I have listed all the laws that they're breaking, right? So we'll get through all those, <laughs> six pages. And then um, finally, I sign it. And now we get into the uh, Trader Joe's employees that signed on. And we've got six of them. They gave me a limited power of attorney, which basically means they are saying, hey, Jeff, you can be our spokesperson and I'm gonna sign off on that. And they get that notarized and then they send that to me, right? And then they do their own signing of the demand for correction and uh, they sign that notice. So basically what we're doing is we're putting them on notice, but with teeth, right? And the teeth are that we're saying to the attorney general, hey, your job is to uphold the constitution here. We know you're functioning as an illegal corporation as evidenced by you being undone in Bradstreet and you have no contract with the people to function as a corporation. So, sorry, Mr. Attorney General, you have to uphold the constitution and if you don't, it's treason. All right, so any of you can do any of this stuff here. It's not that hard. All the documents are at www.worksofyourhands.com and I'll try to put that in the post. And you just go there and you just download them. Just download all the documents that I have. And then you can uh, take on whoever you want to take on. And the purpose of this process is for people that won't answer us, that are just like, yes, yeah, sorry, we're just going to do this thing that we're going to break the law with. <laughs> you just say, wow, okay, I'm going to engage with you about 15 times to tell you here's the law and ask you how are you going to accommodate it in a calm, loving manner. And if they don't respond, then it's like, okay, okay, buddy, here we go. Here's the affidavit process. You've been served notice. 
Uh, and now if you don't answer within 14 days, now we're moving on to the next step. All right, so uh, I wanna thank uh, Robert Michael at, Robert, at uh, privateestatetrust.org. Robert's been a super helpful uh, legal influence and um, so I'll put that in the notes too, privateestatetrust.org. Private All right, everybody, good luck.